it's it's the longest day, right? Kathmandu coast to coast is the longest day. I'm under no illusion that this is going to be ridiculously hard. I mean, it's longer than an Ironman for a start, and the terrain is, <laughs> oh, you know, ten times harder than riding up a riding up a road or you know running a marathon. Just like everyone else coming here, it's a big challenge, massive challenge. Well, let's call it a recon. I love the course. You know, the beginning, the fields, then into the rock, and then into the waterfalls, and to the, to the rivers, and then suddenly you open up, you know, up at the pass, you're on duck boards running, you know, flat ball, um, and then into the, you know, into the forest. And the forest is probably one of the hardest technical bits, you know. You can go really fast through there, but, you know, there's roots, there's, um, you know, you're coming down some really steep little cliffs, and by that stage, your legs are pretty numb by the third hour of the run. You'll get your dose of adrenaline, that's for sure. Something that you're not, definitely not going to get running a, uh, a straight marathon. So this was my first time, you know, paddling a river. Yeah, I fell out. Um, second rock garden on the first day, straight out of the boat. The last hour was painful. I won't, I won't lie. Uh, you know, I wasn't paddle fit to go for four hours, and um, it it hurt. <laughs> you, know, you get used to the white water, and you get really annoyed when you get to a flat section. We paddled 140k in two days, so that's pretty much as much as I've paddled <laughs> in complete distance um, over the past kind of few months. And then you add all the riding, that's probably half of the race race time as well, um, broken into three stages, and it's by no means flat either. I think the last, if I'm right, the last Australian to win was John Jacoby, who's, you know, I look up to, and I know he's a hard man, so if it takes that to win, um, I've probably got a bit of hardening up to do. <laughs>